Morning! Today we're cooking beef. A lot of beef! So the fire is probably the most important bit. It's been going for an hour and a half maybe. Just getting a load of logs on the fire to get it really hot, because what we're trying to get is these embers um, underneath. So you just got to let a load burn down. Today we're using apple wood. This has been dry for two years, so about as good as it gets. And we are going to be cooking on our Asado cross again. Bought it from Country Fire Kitchen. Not gonna lie, I think it could do with being a bit longer. Story of my life. But you can buy the stand for it, so if you buy a stand, it sits in it perfectly. And if you're gonna go and do this, I would 100% recommend buying the stand and not being tight like me. And this costs 100 quid, the stand is another 100 quid. So for 200 pounds, you'll have the full setup and you won't have the problem that I'm facing right now, which is when you put it in the ground like that, it's quite top heavy when you have meat hanging on it. So it tends to fall like that. So you need something to sort of prop it here. What I'm gonna have to try and do is find something with a Y branch like that coming off so I can put it there and come off to here, probably. See what I mean? If it was a little bit taller, it could just go in the ground a little bit further. But obviously this is made to have a stand. So that is my only problem with it. Other than that, it is just basic, made nicely. What more do you want? Something like that, just to stop it falling. We are actually still lambing. We've got about 40 ewes to lamb. We weren't planning to do this until next week, but the weather is about to get very wet next week and we thought, why not? Why not do it now? That's also why I'm about two hours behind getting the beef actually on because we're still lambing and we're still having to do the normal lambing stuff. So we might be eating it a bit late, but. Right, so I reckon that's about good to go. Let's deal with some beef. I mean, it's not ideal, but ta-da. The beef. Oh yeah, baby. We have gone with a belly. So it's basically, if you can imagine this section here, here, and here. So we've got some rib on it. It's the bottom end going into the belly, the rib. Up here would be like your rib roast, rib eyes, all that sort of stuff. And then into the belly. It's 23 kilos of it. <laughs> it's pretty hectic. We really want to try all this because I want to do like a party in the summer. And we thought we'd try beef. I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're gonna roll with it. I'm probably just gonna trim this up here. Just cause I'm fancy. And there's like a, you see this membrane? I'm just gonna peel that off. Like that. All the way off. Trim up the edges and then a little bit of salt. Wire it onto our cross, put it over the fire. And then we're gonna make a brine for it. Some, somewhere, somewhere. It's very similar to what we did with the lamb, but perhaps a little bit beefier. We haven't got all the ingredients we need. And it's bank holiday Sunday, so it's fine. We're gonna just roll with it. I haven't really done any homework on this, but we were looking to try and do it for about 12 hours, but it's currently just pushing 10 o'clock. We won't get it on till half past 10, so we'll probably do 10 hours, eat about eight o'clock tonight, something like that. We're just gonna see how it goes, but let's get cooking. I should score it. I think yes. So far so good. Now I just need to wire it to my cross. Just iron up what's good. So that bit goes in the ground and these are adjustable so you can move that up and down. But I think it's probably, I might move that one down a touch. 
and then I'm probably going to stick a wire through here, through here, there. So five, maybe one in the middle. With the lamb, it's got obviously the spine all the way down, so it's quite tough, whereas that might fold a little bit. Yeah, we'll probably do one in the middle. Okay. There she is. So big, it's ridiculous, look at it. Two things. One, I never, ever, ever wear white. Why I chose to wear this cream number when I'm cooking over an open fire, meat, soot, just. Secondly, I'm not convinced with my wiring. When that heats up and gets a bit loose, not sure. Oh, there's a third as well. So this is where it spikes into the ground and you sort of turn it as it's cooking. I think I should have done that end uh, down at the spike end because there's a big old lump of, well actually it's a big old lump of fat to be fair, so. I don't know, maybe I got that bit right. One out of three, not bad. Cool, so let's get cooking somehow. Oh, I reckon it needs to be more like that. The beef is on, it is 10.39. Just got to do a few adjustments here and there. She is cooking. She is cooking good. Now you can see that it's a little bit cooked. Don't panic, it'll be fine. It just takes a second to work out sort of adjusting it. And if you have to nip off and do stuff and come back, it just takes a second sometimes to adjust the heat. So if it catches a little bit, it's not the end of the world. So now we've got to make our brine. Really basic brine. Onions, sugar, red wine vinegar, oregano, garlic, black pepper, salt, and then we've got some parsley and thyme. And a bit of water, that's it. Oh, and then I bought a squirty bottle to squirt on this time because I'm a pro. Currently having a bit of trouble with the wind. You see, she's blowing. We're having to mess about the fire a bit because every now and then the wind picks up and it really heats up the fire. And also it's blowing a lot of the heat that way. So we're just trying to but have a little look. look. I mean, she's, uh, she's pretty good. I think if you like beef, this might be the, the ultimate beef. It's time for a spin. Got me brine. I know my bottle's a bit ropey. Imagine this. This is why we're here, innit? The quality content. Now, I didn't break this. I know you're thinking I did. How aggravating is that? How hot is this? Oh, it's okay. It's okay, how hot is this? It's okay. Whoa. Show you this side. Oh, mate, how good does that look? Bones are starting to come out. I think they're probably going to stay in. Well, I hope they are. Perhaps I shouldn't have scored around the, on the bones. But I haven't turned it upside down, which I'm thinking I'm going to have to because this guy isn't cooking very well up the top here. Either that, or I can lower it down a bit towards the flames. Right, you also need to get like a little shovel or something, because this is a bit of a nightmare. Look how my white top's doing. Not good. Right, let's talk about price. So, I am a farmer, we do have a few cows, but this isn't actually mine. I got this from my abattoir where I take my lambs. This weighs 23 kilos. That will probably cost you 100 quid. Beef's not very cheap. This might well be the cheapest of all the cuts of beef. Almost all of that would just go to mince. Also, if you've ever had a bullock of your own back from the abattoir, it might be worth just saying, look, can I have one of the bellies and stick it in the freezer and doing something like this is a party because you can feed quite a few people and if you've ever had a bullock back of your own, the amount of mints is unreal. A crazy amount of mints. So if you want a bit less mints and you want to have a bit of a party and your friends around, a few beers and a bit of beef, might be a good shout. I mean, just look at that. I'm so excited about this. I think this might be my new favorite way of doing anything. Just fire. Well, I'm going to sit back and have a beer in the beautiful sunshine because 
do feel like I've earned it a little bit. I'm gonna walk around my use and uh, just chill. I'm just gonna embrace it for a minute. I have officially got a shovel. So I can actually get some coals out of there. I don't know why I didn't do it about six hours ago. I've been doing that thing, you know when you go to a Chinese restaurant and you're not, you're a little bit special with the old chopsticks. You're not a top tier chopsticker and you're trying to eat rice. That's been me all day with these coals. Oh baby. So it's now been cooking for eight and a half hours. Just giving it a last little blast. Don't know if that's what you meant to do, but feels right. So I'm gonna cut it off the cross and show you what it looks like. I just don't know how we've made such a mess, so. <laughs> just what? Right. So I'm gonna clean this off. I'll probably put some tin foil actually. Tin foil over that. Get that off. And we'll have a look. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. So I was worried it was gonna be really chewy, but. Oh my god, Lord. that's so good. Thank you very much for watching this YouTube. Till next time.